Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the lieutenant. So for all of you students out there studying it, then I hope this is going to be super helpful for you. As always, if you're not studying this text, don't worry, keep watching, because I feel like there's always something valuable that you can take away from hearing about other stories and understanding what type of themes and what type of symbols are out there because they might actually apply it to your own text. And I really want you guys to stay until the very end of this video today because I have a really exciting announcement to share with you all. This video's takeaway message focuses on tackling prompts that include quotations. So although quotations might seem superfluous, they actually are really handy at giving you hints on how to tackle or challenge the essay topic. It's there for a reason, so if you are familiar with the quote, then I 100% recommend you to incorporate it into your essay. Before we unpack today's essay topic, let's have a look at some quick background information to get you up to speed. Kate Grenville's The Lieutenant explores the commonality of the human spirit amidst tumultuous conflict during the first fleet's arrival in Australia in 1788. Drawing upon the true experiences of William Dawes, a British astronomer and one of the lieutenants to travel with the first fleet, Grenville crafts a work of fiction inspired by Dawes, Two Little Blue Notebooks, detailing his growing understanding of the Aboriginal language, Gadigal, and his conversations and connection with Pat Yagarang, a young Aboriginal girl. The ability for two individuals from completely different worlds to transcend their differences in order to share cherished moments and understandings together is exemplified in The Lieutenant, alongside the rife external and internal conflicts which threaten such a relationship. Today's prompt is, but a man could not travel along two different paths. How does Grenville explore Rook's conflict of conscience in The Lieutenant? Start off with focusing on the key words in this prompt, especially the phrases that resonate with you for steps one and two of brainstorming, which I have spoken to you in previous essay prompt breakdown videos. In particular, let's have a look at the phrase conflict of conscience, as this captures the essence of the prompt and is what you really need to focus on in this essay. Conflict of conscience suggests internal conflict, which implies that we will need to consider morality and the concepts of right and wrong, especially when a difficult decision must be made and sides need to be taken. Conflict itself is a central theme of Lieutenant. However, it is important to recognize that this topic considers conflict through the narrower lens of conflict of conscience. This means in your discussion, the relevance to the prompt is crucial in ensuring that you're actually answering the question. But first, let's analyze the quote, but a man could not travel along two different paths. This quote alludes to Rook's realization regarding the reality of his identity, not only as Tagaran's friend or Kamara, but also as a soldier or Berawalgao. I really hope that I'm pronouncing these okay. The resignation and recognition of the impossible, that is, for Rook to continue attempting to appease both sides without making critical decisions about who and what he ultimately valued more is evident in this quote. Hence, this quote refers to the conflict of conscience he experiences and provides us with an insight not only into his character, but also conflict itself. Why is it not possible for a man to travel along two paths? What would happen if he tried? Why was this realization important for Rook, especially for his character and development? These are the kinds of questions coming to mind when looking at this quote and might give hints to how I would tackle the prompt. Now that we've explored some ideas related to the question, let's have a look at how we would go into body paragraphs. Paragraph one. Grenville's utilization of Rook's perspective in detailing his thought processes, observations and realizations reveals the facets of Rook's character contributing to his internal conflicts. Remembering that this is a how prompt, we want to be analyzing the ways in which Grenville explores Rook's conflict of conscience. In this particular paragraph, I have chosen to focus on the raw and intimate expression of his inner thoughts and consciousness as the how aspect. The detailed perspective reveals Rook's naivety in assuming the possibility of maintaining a peaceful connection with Tagaran and the Aboriginal community amidst turbulent and violent times. Consequently, 
Importantly, it highlights his realizations regarding the morality of the conflicts he's involved in and how despite one's admirable intentions, a man could not travel along two paths without facing dire consequences for their actions. Questions I might ask myself here include, why does Rook initially try to deny the reality of his situation? What does his preference for a peaceful and accepting approach towards the Indigenous Australians suggest about his approach to conflict? This cognitive dissonance ultimately contributes to his internal conflict between the value he places in his connections with Tagaran, Tag Tagaran and her community and in his duties and obligations as a lieutenant. As readers, we come to realise the duality of this conflict in Rook's mind through the limited, omniscient third-person perspective, which provides us with an insight into Rook's shifting understandings of Indigenous people, conflict, and even himself. I would then continue unpacking these changing understandings, especially the ones relevant to his character, which show his internal conflicts further. Paragraph 2. In addition, the stark contrast between Rook's approach to his conflict of conscience and other soldiers' approaches underscores the rationale behind his actions and the stakes ineluctably linked with his choices and morality. This paragraph's analysis revolves around Grenville's inclusion of a host of different characters and outlooks, from Indigenous Australians to intransigent colonial perspectives. I would emphasize the importance of juxtaposition between these different perspectives as it elucidates the values and beliefs underpinning each individual's choices, especially during conflict. Although the core of the essay discusses internal conflicts, highlighting the connections between internal and external conflict will add an extra layer of complexity to your essay. Rook's conflict of conscience results in his permanent departure from Australia and fleshing out the ramifications of dissent and opposition towards the other colonials is key in demonstrating your understanding of the complex and interwined nature of conflict. Paragraph 3. Through the detrimental implications of Rook's initial conflict avoidance, Grenville's focus on his subsequent self-awareness to unite his morals and his actions highlights the strength of his character to resolve his eternal conflicts to prevent further perpetration of injustice towards the Aboriginal population. Here, I'm having a closer look at how Rook's encounters with his conflicts of conscience and the repercussions of his actions in attempting to take a middle ground stance catalyze his development as an individual. In particular, how it solidifies his moral stance and his decision to act in a manner that reflects his beliefs. By showing Tagaran how to load a gun, but not how to fire it, or by accepting the navigator role, but distancing himself from the group, he endeavours to avoid conflict with either side. However, passivity is a stance within itself, and in the case of the treatment towards the Indigenous Australians, Rook's silence in not rejecting the actions of other Berrawalgal inevitably enables injustice to continue. It is only through his understanding that non-committal actions also incriminate him as a perpetrator that his choice to sacrifice his colonial obligations for taking an active stance to fulfill his moral obligations comes to light. This reveals the role that internal conflicts may have an inciting powerful change in realizations in an individual. The complexity of internal conflict is difficult to discuss, but by using the quote and having a look at the implications of the quotes, this will enable you to offer a more sophisticated and insightful understanding and discussion of both the lieutenant and conflict. I want to say a really big thank you to Michelle, who is one of my amazing tutors at Lisa's Study Guides, and we all work together to ensure that you guys get the best resources possible. So thank you, Michelle, for participating and being a part of this. And lastly, I wanted to share with you guys the thing that I said that was super exciting. As you guys know, Lisa's Study Guides produces our own study guides. In fact, we just have the one. And previously, you know, you can see back there, we used to split them into two, so part one and part two. But after feedback, what I realized was it's just easier for students to have the comprehensive study I just placed all into one. And so I've been working with my animator who has also become my book cover designer and book formatting designer. And together we have created the second edition 
of the Ultimate English Study Guide for you guys. So this is currently available for you guys to purchase and it has some new updated text in there as well. So if your text is only just jumped onto the syllabus or you're doing the lieutenant, for example, then I highly recommend you have a look and see if your text is on there. Most likely it will be so that the, the actual study guide itself will be super relevant for you guys. I think what students have liked best from feedback with these study guides are how we break down structure really easily and in a straightforward way so you know how to actually apply it yourself. And secondly, how we include A plus essays in there that are all fully annotated for you guys so that you know how to actually strive for that A plus and how to get there rather than just trying to replicate an essay that is good but you don't actually know why it's good. So yeah, I wanted to share with that with you guys. It's just something that I work really hard on in the background and I'd really love your support. So I will see you guys next week. There are definitely more essay question breakdowns to come. So I will get onto those now and start working more for you guys, offering more videos and more, more, more resources because that's what we're all about. Okay.